Bro guys, Shay here, Uneven Balance. Hope you guys are well. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. That'd be much appreciated. Anyway, um, so yesterday we had the second T20 match between England and Pakistan, um, and it was hosted and covered live ball by ball TV coverage on the BBC. And I just wanted to do a video on that because I thought it was absolutely fantastic. The coverage we'll get to in a bit, but just the idea of obviously cricket being back on terrestrial TV since what 2005 was just unbelievable you know i'm just i'm someone who is an advocate for the game i want the game to spread i want it to be played by every nation in the world ideally you know in some form now, obviously that's a bit of a utopia that would probably never happen um but for our country for england you know we want it to be shown to the masses you know i mean you know, i've got a sky package you know that's that's all good but you know when i was you know growing up you know, anyone here who's watching is kind of 35 plus like I am. You remember obviously watching cricket on the BBC. I remember like Tony Lewis and that black suit he always used to wear. Um, sitting in that chair, Richie Benno. You know, these guys, when I was watching cricket, so early in the 90s, it, it was just, yeah, it, that was, there was just kind of the, the, the household names. If you, if you watch cricket then, you know. And just seeing it again, I mean... It was just wonderful to see, yeah. I mean, to see that just cricket back on Cheshire TV, you know, away from this paywall of, of Sky Sports or BT Sport, doesn't matter. I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, subscription uh, channel, basically. So, um, speaking of the coverage, you know, I thought, you know, BBC again is quite prim and proper. It would have been in quite um, something you would kind of. A, on the same kind of vibe as say with the kind of a crowd at Lords, you know, um, how it used to be to a certain extent, but how wrong could I have been? And I think obviously BBC, um, I've tried to purposely create content and coverage in a much more kind of um, relaxed, affable, friendly, humorous, um, and kind of digestible way, because the reality is they're looking at the competition um, especially Sky Sports being the, the main broadcast. I know BT have had a little bit of cricket like the Ashes in seventeen eighteen, but you know, Sky Sports is kind of the, the main competition, isn't it? And the kind of the main host of English cricket for what's well, since, since two thousand six. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I mean I absolutely love, you know, the guys on there, you know, Ian Ward, you know, does a, I think it's a really good job. Um, you know, I love Atherton and I love Matthew Sane. You know, I've read so many cricket autobiographies you know, I've read some, and I think of all the ones that I've read, I think Playing With Fire by Nas Hussain is probably one of my favourites. I also enjoyed Opening Up by Michael Addison. I thought it was really good. Um, but I really enjoyed Playing With Fire. So, you know, I'm a big fan of Hussain. I was a really big fan of, um, of David Gower. I enjoyed Gower. But that's the kind of, you know, the typical kind of like BBC coverage you would have got, you know, 25 years ago. Um, but the fact you had, uh, was it Ishe Guha? I think it's pronounced Ishe. Uh, Guha presenting, um, obviously, you know, a youngish Indian woman presenting the cricket. And then you had commentating, your main commentators, and uh, Michael Vaughan and Phil Tofnell, which I just think about Michael Vaughan, uh, Phil Tofnell, I just think about, like, <laughs> you know, a bit of a joke character, isn't it? The cat, you know, um, with all his misdemeanors and stuff. But he was actually quite a good bowler. I remember him in 97 Ashes, uh, helping us to defend 130 in the Oval in that fifth test. But really well that day, fantastic that day. Um, but yeah, it's full soft null. Um, and obviously, Vaughan, and they were hilarious, they're absolutely hilarious. And you know, Andy Saltzman, uh, doing the uh, kind of the the uh, analytical, you know, kind of side of things, uh, the equivalent of Benedict on Sky Sports, which I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Benedict's face, but they had obviously the, the kind of cut to, and they had a screen, obviously, um, of the commentators in the booth commentating the game at times and when Andy was talking and his Oxman was talking they cut him as well in his you know his, uh, his cave what was it I can't remember something they called it something cave um and this cave or something stack cave or whatever it was um I just thought it was a really fresh kind of funky kind of you know you know vibrant feel to the whole thing I thought it was really good um, I'm not sure if they've got any matches against Australia. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section if they manage to secure any of the Australian games. But it was really good to see, 
yeah, this. I mean, it was on Sky Sports as well, but I didn't bother at all. There was no way I was going to watch it on Sky Sports. Um, also, the adverts. I mean, obviously, every time Rookie goes down or whatever, or drinks break, you yeah, have adverts. Obviously, BBC don't have that, which is, a, is really nice, to, obviously. Um, so I was, yeah, really happy about that. But I just thought, there's no way I'm going to watch it on Sky Sports it's on BBC. You know, I want to see it on Terrestrial TV. Uh, but I was also interest, interested to see as well. I was interested to see how um, the coverage was, you know, if it was like a, a throwback to, you know, 30 years ago, or were they going to come up with something kind of new and innovative? And they did, you know, I mean, the coverage itself, you know, technical coverage was pretty standard. Um, I thought Ishiguha struggled a little bit sometimes when it got a bit more technical, actually, all due respect to her, but uh, when adjudicating some of the um, referral decisions, I thought that was a bit sticky. Um, but I think it might just be nerves. She obviously knows the cricket. She's, she's a fantastic commentator. So um, I don't think that's, that's not an issue. But maybe just, yeah, possibly nerves. But um, I thought overall it was really, really good. It was really tight. It was really snappy. And it was it was really cool. And I think the people they chose, there was a clear, you know, um, directive to go down a much more kind of, yeah, fresh, kind of younger or, you know, you know route, basically. Because that will attract, obviously, younger people. And that's what we want. We want, obviously... The next generation of people are watching the game who have obviously got you know, had access to this match they found it interesting they found it funny and entertaining ultimately because that's what cricket is there for isn't it it's there to entertain us ultimately we're not there for anything else they're there to be entertained um what you deem entertainment is obviously your choice but yeah, obviously that's i think for a younger generation i think having those guys on you know von tofnel guha uh, even the guy from TMS, I can't remember the Pakistani guy, I think British Pakistani guy, was good, he was strong. I thought he was, and again, it's the look of the whole thing, you know, said it was it was, it was good. It all, all kind of condensed and meshed really well. So yeah, that's that's kind of my take on it. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, yeah, please do, you know, like, comment, uh, share, and uh, most of all, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.